Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about building a company policy website. I often get questions about document collections like this one, where customers have up to hundreds of documents in Word or PDF formats that they want to move into SharePoint. Of course, you can just upload those files into SharePoint and be done with it. But if you want to present it in a slightly more modern way, then using a website is a bit more work, of course, but uh, it will be a much better solution. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll start by going into the site content of my main company site here and create a new subsite and call that company guidelines. And I'm just going to use the regular team site and use the top link bar from the parent site. You could also consider doing special permissions for the site since you probably want to have just a few people promoting or publishing documents on that company guidelines site. But I'll make it simple and just use the default permissions in this demo. Now, I'm going to start by opening the mission statement document and just copy all of the content of that. It gets slightly more complex, of course, if you have pictures or diagrams or embedded items in your document, but for now, this is just text. So here's the company guidelines. I'm now gonna create a new page for each of these documents. I'm using the new experience model, and um, the principle is the same for the old model, the wiki pages model, if you wanna use that. Um, the headline, the mission statement is, of course, the first thing that people should see when they come to this. So I'm going to put that just the same as the documents. I'm going to publish that and do the same thing with the other two. So add a page and have the vision statement also. Copy all of that to uh, vision statement. Add the text. Remove the double heading there. There we go. And publish that. Create a new page. I'm going to copy the personnel policy also. Just copy the, all of the text there. And of course, it's just sample text. Number three. And here's the text finally. All right. So we published the three documents. Now, of course, we want to make these very accessible. So what I'm going to do now is go into site contents, find the uh, site pages. And these are, of course, the three pages that I just created now. The one, two, three. That one evidently got the wrong one. So let's change that. Edit that. Let's have that file name also so that it, it's consistent. Anyhow, now I'm going to add these three to the navigation. So I'll go in and edit the navigation, remove all the default navigation items. And then I'm going to just add these. I'll do that by clicking on Add to Navigation. It doesn't show up immediately, but it will once I save it. So I'm going to add to navigation on all these three items. And then I'm also going to make the mission statement here. That page is going to be the site homepage. So make that a homepage. And then I'm going to save this. And now when I go back to the company guidelines, you'll see that I end up in the mission statement. And I have the vision statement and the personal policy there. So I think that's a rather nice looking, nice working company guidelines website. Thank you for watching this demonstration.